Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi there. I'm Ralph. I'm behind the camera. Yes, you are. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And Ralph, we are actually going vegetarian today. And your sweet sister, Carmen, was talking about these wonderful black bean burgers that she made and how much her family loved them. So what did we say? We said we're inspired. We are. And we were inspired and so we're gonna make black bean burgers as well. So, um, you can't make black bean burgers without black, black beans. beans. So we've got a can. This is a 15 ounce can and I think um, from the market, I think most cans were sort of in the 15 to 15 and a half ounce range. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take a look. Here's the can, Ralph. You got a lot of sort of liquid in there, brine. And I'm sure lots of salt, although you can buy a salt-free version or yes. a low-salt mm -hmm. version. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just, with cold water, sort of rinse these black beans. Mm -hmm. You know, beans are really a, a very protein-rich food source. So, you know, if you kind of want to change it up from the usual beef burger or whatever, this is a nice alternative. All right, I'm just going to kind of set these here and let them drain. So, we've got that. Now, I've got my skillet here, Ralph, and I've got a little butter. And I'm going to put in to that a little bit of olive oil. So, we got about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'll let that sort of heat up because here's what we're going to do. I've got one half of a small onion, very finely diced. And I've got one half of a jalapeno. I tried to get the seeds out. Um, this is optional. We want to spice ours up a little bit. You could just do the onion and leave the jalapeno out. You could do maybe a half of a green bell pepper if you wanted a little pepper in there but you didn't want the heat we're going to saute the jalapeno with the onion and Ralph that'll sort of tame it down a little bit okay so you said that was a half of a jalapeno no this is a whole jalapeno oh, a whole, of a okay? small one? yeah that I seeded and and just diced chopped up real fine up nice. okay? okay so we're going to saute this in our butter and olive oil mix here which is just getting ready all right, there's our black beans, and when we went to the grocery store to get the ingredients for this recipe, I was pleasantly surprised at just the variety of black beans that we saw there. There was just a whole long shelf of mm -hmm. black beans that you could get salted, unsalted, seasoned, organic, just a, a real wide variety, which I didn't really pay attention to previously, or, or uh, I don't really cook with uh, canned beans. And, of course, you could use whole... Um, beans that you dried beans dried beans yes. that you soak. so you'd have to soak them and cook them and cool them down and I mean by all means if some people prefer to use dried beans but it, of course it takes longer we're all about the step savers and yeah. if you wash the salt off and you know because there's usually such a high sodium count in the uh, canned food you buy but if you wash it off and then add your own seasonings which we're going to do yeah um, that you'll be fine um, this is sauteing away. Oh, does that smell good Doesn't with the jalapeno it? in there? So, listen, we're just going to cook this, Ralph, till it's soft, okay? Like three to five minutes. We don't need to, you know, caramelize or really brown them. We just want the onions to be nice and soft. Because it's going into the mixture, right? Exactly. I know my sister Carmen, when she made hers, uh, she said one time she did put onions and pickle on the inside no on the outside and it tasted like a white castle hamburger. oh yeah with the onions and the pickles <laughs> so this is a healthy hamburger substitute absolutely Black now what I'm doing burger. Ralph is I'm using my potato masher here to smash these beans up if you've had a hard day at the office come oh and yes smash some beans up. this is a, a great way to get a frustration get her outer um, Hulk smash. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you know, get them a pretty smashed. I mean, you want them fairly smooth, but it's okay if you have a little, few little chunks in there. I mean, there should be some texture to this, right? Yeah, I mean, you want to you maintain some of the texture and fiber, but you're not 
a complete paste. No, right. So, okay, I'm kind of happy with that. We're going to make these slider size. Yes, okay, so we're going to make these on the small side because we have these nice slider, whole wheat slider buns. This is just about done. I'm actually going to take my heat off here. You know, it's so fun when we often cook with the onion and butter and get that smell that brings mm. us back to our mom's kitchen, but adding that jalapeno really is fun. It gives it a whole different dimension. Yes, and I think it's going to give our black bean burgers a nice kick. So, all right, we're, we're pretty mashed up here. Now what I'm going to do, Ralph, is we're going to add our seasoning. Okay. So what I've got is I've got garlic, granulated garlic here. You could use garlic powder if you wanted, if you didn't have this. So is I'm that putting in one teaspoon. Is that different than garlic salt? Yes, there's no salt in this. Oh, it's just this a strictly garlic. garlic. You know, the, the beans already had salt in the can, so I'm trying to not over salt it. Um, this is onion powder. Again, just onion powder. So There's no salt in this here. This is all for flavoring. Right. So a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we are going to put in some nice smoky cumin. Ooh, okay? Yeah. Um, maybe about a oh, half a teaspoon. A little goes a long way, and I do or love a quarter cumin, of a teaspoon, I'm especially sorry. when it's fresh. Cumin yeah. can give a real nice flavor to uh, any kind of uh, food like this. So we put in a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Now I am going to put in some salt. I'm going to use the seasoned salt because that's got other kind of good stuff in it. Um, and I'm only going to put in a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. And then, of course, we want to put in. Oh, a couple of good grinds of fresh ground pepper. All right. If you're not a fan of spicy food, you can, of course, uh, make the jalapeno optional. You can yep. leave the cumin out. Oh, what's this now? This is breadcrumbs. Pa you could use regular breadcrumbs. I had panko on hand. I'm putting in three quarters of a cup, okay, of breadcrumbs. Now, let me get a a spatula, I'm going to add our jalapeno and onions to the mix here, as well as that butter and olive oil that's still in the pan. And by the way, I'm just going to leave, you know, a lot of times I use cast iron skillets to cook with. I love them. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this and we're going to fry our burgers in here. Not really fry them, but cook them. Cook them. Um, but there'll be a little of that oil. delicious butter and oil on the bottom. Um, so they'll be fried, but not in the sense of like a deep fry. Exactly. Okay, because right. you want to cook them. Um, all right, so now let me kind of put all this together. See that? Just kind of mix it in. I remember my sister said if the patties are too loose you can add more breadcrumbs to them. Okay. Well I actually think that this is gonna this is looking all right. We'll see once we get them to form the patties. Um, but right now I just want to get those breadcrumbs softened a little bit and you can see what I'm doing with the spatula. Uh, you could use a spoon for this too. So I'm kind of still mashing down a little bit those beans. Mm. Okay. All right. So all the flavors are getting integrated and in, at the same time that you're mashing it together. Right. And then what we'll do next is I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes because I want the breadcrumbs to sort of soften. Soak and up. I soak up uh, the moisture from the beans and the moisture from the, the onions and jalapeno. We'll let that just hang there for few more minutes and then we're going to come back and we'll form them into patties and get them in our skillet. Here's what I'm doing Ralph. Oh wow you're making little uh... little meatballs, little black bean balls. Okay. Well actually I'm going to do, I'm doing this first and then what I'm going to do is once they're, this is really the easier way to make the patty. We'll make them into the ball first like so and then press. See? 
How easy. Now we're only making these about this big because we want them to fit obviously on our slider bun. You want them about a half an inch thick. Okay? I hear a little sizzle. Little sizzle. Again, you roll and then press. Like so. And we're making these slider size, so I'm just gonna keep on going here. Okay. And so you start with the ball, flatten them out. Flatten them out. I've got the skillet on, you know, like a medium heat. And you and wanna cook them till they're brown on both sides, maybe like what, two or three minutes? Yeah, about three minutes maybe on both sides. Okay. Okay. Medium. Okay. They should you know have a little crust. Medium heat. And you said yeah. you could also do these on a grill. You could absolutely cook these on a grill or use a grill pan. Um so, you know, this is nice if you have vegetarian, or these are actually vegan. Um, oh, because you didn't put any egg in I it. I did not put any egg in it. It's so just one way to make them. Yeah, so if you if you had people coming over, or perhaps that's, that's a diet that you prefer, uh, or, if, you know, sometimes we like to just go eat, meatless, right? Eat so, healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, but we do. So I'm just going to keep rolling these up here. Okay, Ralph, we are going to put a couple of our black bean sliders on the on the bun here. They smell good. They look, look good. See, can you see the nice brown that they have on them? Yeah, that's what you're looking for, a bit of a yeah. sear. A little bit of a sear, a little bit of a crust. Now, unlike a conventional burger, these don't shrink. Oh. Okay, so they're not going to get any smaller. There's because there's no fat in them. There's no fat. So look at that. Aren't those great? Now you can do, you can dress these up any way you want. Ketchup and mustard, but I know you're more of a mustard guy. I like mustard. And I'm going to put a little bit. There we go. You could put a pickle chip on there if you wanted to. Maybe two. So you, we have different types of pickle chips. That look yeah. like, open that up again. I want folks to see how great that looks. See? We also have uh, from our friends in Toledo, Toledo Tony Pacos. Tony Pacos. Sweet hots. All right. So here we go. I think that's nice looking. Don't you? On a whole wheat little slider bun. It looks great. But how does it taste? Mmm. Wow, oh, I just got a little of that jalapeno. Oh, good. So it kicked it up nicely. You know, you're getting the onion, the, the um, seasonings, the seasoning, a little of the garlic. You know, I think the black bean, you know, the beans are just kind of there. Neutral, kind of neutral. Kind of neutral. What you're really getting are the jalapeno, the sauteed, the onion, and then, um, you know, a little bit of the garlic and, uh, of course, the wonderful crunchy pickle on top and the mustard. Yeah, I think that's essential. Black bean burgers are often known for being kind of flat and people make fun of vegetarian or vegan burger mm -hmm. versions of burgers because they seem so diametrically opposed. But mm. like you said, you flavor them upright and you've got a winner. Yeah. You could even put your favorite cheese on there. You know, you could do um, a raw slice of onion if you happen mm -hmm. to like that. Mm. Um, so it looks like a winner. And how easy was it? Very. Open the can. Mash, you know, you get to saute some onions and jalapeno, put in our seasonings, and off we go. So, you know what? It's just that simple. Let's take another look at that beauty there. There it is, folks. This is our wonderful black bean burger slider, and we're going to eat them all right now. <laughs> Thanks Th for watching us. Yeah, thanks so much for being a part of this one. We hope you had a great time being with us. We sure had fun making these black bean burgers. We'll see you next time right here on Cavalcade of Food. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Bye everybody.